Hello, hacemos AT&T. My name is Pedro David Espinosa. It is an honor to be here and be your keynote speaker for Hacemos High Tech Day event nationwide. I was born and raised in Peru. I don't know if we have any Peruvians in the house. And I really want to share for a few minutes my story of how I came to this country, immigrated at the age of 18, 47 years ago, and how I built my personal board of advisors, my board of directors, my mentors, my sponsors, and how that helped me become a tech entrepreneur. So before I continue, I wanna ask you a question. What are your plans five years from now? Where do you aspire to be 10 years from now? What things do you have to accomplish in order to be there in the five and 10 years framework? The future, dear AT&T Hacemos friends, amigos y amigas, the future is technology, is entrepreneurship, is STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. And today, I really want to inspire you to think big because you have to juntarte con los mejores. Surround yourself with the best. So let me summarize my story. Being born and raised in Peru, my family is from Pampas Grande, which is a very small village, 12,000 feet above sea level. For me, I always aspired to be an entrepreneur because I saw how my parents, how my relatives created businesses from scratch. And when I applied to college, I remember I applied at 12 different colleges. All of them rejected me except the last one. I remember I was crying and weeping and sad. I was frustrated. And my dad told me one thing. He said, hijo, no te preocupes, tranquilo. Ora, like, relax, todo va ir bien. And he was right. The last school to accept me was the University of California, Berkeley. Not only it was the only school that accepted me, but it was the school that gave me merit-based scholarships through the Leadership Award and other gifts that I got. So Berkeley opened its doors for me to join as an international immigrant student to the United States of America. At Berkeley, which is next to Silicon Valley in California, a lot of my classmates were like, yeah, my mom works at VMware, my dad works at Cisco and Twitter and all these tech companies. And I was like, dude, I'm pretty sure my mom's never heard of the word VMware before. So that really fueled me to start building my personal board of sponsors, to start building mi tribu, my tribe, my community from scratch. So through sports, through church, through college clubs and different things, I was able to build the dots and connect people. Let me share with you one story and you're gonna learn how I got my first investor. When I was a freshman at Berkeley, I was at a cafeteria and I see this 80 year old businessman wearing a suit. I remember my mom's advice of juntate con los mejores. And so I take the risk and I go and say, hi, my name is Pedro, can we grab lunch together? He's like, sure, I'm Frank. I said, Frank, why are you here? You're dressed up with a business tuxedo and people here are freshmen and sophomores. Y él me dijo, well, my board meeting got canceled. And I said, what board? He's like, I'm a trustee at the university. And I was like, no way, that's so cool. And the coolest thing was that I had my student antenna, right? The immigrant hustle. And I was like, you're wearing a, a ribbon, like a US flag and a flag from Uruguay. And I'm from Peru, I've been to Argentina, Brazil, but I haven't been to Uruguay. And he told me he was the US ambassador to Uruguay in 2005 under President Bush. So we connected and we start speaking in Spanish. Dos personas diferentes conectándonos from different zip codes, nationalities, different socioeconomic status, political affiliations and everything. But we were able to connect. We were able to build that relational bridge. Later in our conversation with Frank Baxter, 
I told him I wanted to start a fintech startup. And he said that he was the CEO of Jeffries. So, so many things in common, right? At the end of our lunch, he gave me his business card and I kept it and would send him email updates every month of my favorite classes, my startup ideas. I attended his events, supporting him as well, bilateral mentorship. And I was able to build this relationship by being relational over transactional. That's what I want you to remember, being relational over transactional. And in a span of three years, can you guess who was the first person to write a check for my first tech startup? It was him, Frank Baxter, the CEO of Jefferies. What I'm trying to share here today, amigos y amigas, is that it takes time to build trust. It takes perseverance. We have to be students of our mentors, of our loved ones, of our sponsors that vouch for us. So little by little, that helped me go for walks around campus with Frank, do some Zoom calls and FaceTime together and spend time with him to really connect. So I encourage you today to ask a question. Do you have mentors? Do you have sponsors? People who wear your t-shirt when you're not there. That's what's gonna help you grow in your tech career, in your engineering aspirations, in your business ideas. No one does it alone. It takes a village to grow and become a leader. So today, yes, me, Pedro, I inspire you that if I did it, you can do it. You're in this amazing country with great resources from corporations like AT&T giving scholarships. Take advantage of this. Create your LinkedIn profile. Connect with others. Connect with me on LinkedIn, Pedro David Espinosa. Connect with others and mentor others. Be relational. Be resourceful. Do smart asks, right? When I was writing my book, Frank Baxter, who was the CEO of Jefferies, he connected me with other venture capitalists. I had the opportunity of interviewing Reed Hastings, the CEO founder of Netflix. I interviewed Eric Schmidt, the CEO of Google, Dan Schulman, Venmo, PayPal CEO. And it's all about your network. Your net worth is your network, right? As in Spanish, our moms would say, Dime con quien andas y te iré quien eres, right? So if you're the smartest person in the room, I have bad news, you're in the wrong room. So remember, build that bridge, connect with people, be relational, ask for help in a strategic way, and build your life roadmap. Un abrazo, let's keep in touch, pedroespinosa.com. You can reach out to me there and on LinkedIn. I'm super excited to continue empowering more Latina, Latino entrepreneurs through Pan Peru, alpacapanperu.com. And yeah, thank you so much for having me here.